welcome back to the channel guys. I'm here with my friend John Richet and we're about to get his car out that's been sitting for 30 years? 30 years, it's been sitting in a shed ever since then. It has not moved here since 1991 or 1992. That's, that's about as long as I've been alive. So that's a long time. That's crazy to think about. It's been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I've been talking about taking it out forever and uh, just this is the year it's Time to do it. Yep. Just life kept getting in the way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so now it's done. Yep. Well, it's been well kept. This is the perfect kind of storage if you're going to store a car. It's nice and dry. So I'm looking forward to getting it back to the shop and seeing what we're going to need to get this thing back on the road. All right, let's go grab the tow truck. Good. so that as we work on it we don't uh, hurt the paint or anything get some of this years and years of dirt off the last sticker was 1995 so a little bit later than the 91 or 92 that we fought but still it's been sitting a very long time only smell that through the TV. The smell of vision is strong. driver's side. The, mi 
mice have been having fun over the years in this thing. We're just gonna leave that open, let that start to air out a little bit. Be right back and go get a prop rod for the trunk. That open, airing out. And uh, we're gonna start blowing out some of the mouse turds. we can go ahead and close the car up and get the exterior washed. I want to get all the dirt off the outside before I actually start working on it. Just so, like I said, we don't hurt the fenders or any of the paint. Alright, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to start washing. Stuff to be learned, but it to be turned, it seems. Yes, there is. You got to pay your dues before it's all cookies and cream. Where the runaways have the steam well, Let me tell you You got to pay your dues Before it's all cookies and cream Let's go up here and we're going to take a look inside the cylinders. So that one just looks very dry. Same with 
this one. super dry yeah this is just a dry stuck motor that piston piston is wet something and you can see the carbons flaking off here too I don't think I'll be able to get the bore scope in the back too but they're gonna be similar situations Oof. That's the valve right there. Cylinder wall. Looks okay, but let's see. If I can get that to point down. just so dry in there. So we are dealing with a dry stuck engine. What's most likely happened is the moisture has come in through the exhaust and intake and anywhere where there's an open valve like this one. Just that moisture has come in over the years, sat there, it's turned to rust. Uh, you can see all the that scaly like powdery accumulation there that's all corrosion so I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate everything uh, let it soak for a little bit and then we're gonna try and crack this thing free but it's not like it's full of water it's just got moisture Alright, so it's been soaking for a little bit with some transmission fluid in the cylinders. So what we're going to do is I put the car in first gear. Just trying to set the camera up so that we can watch the crank. Put the car in first gear and we're going to rock it back and forth. So all the spark plugs are out. soak a little bit longer but man that is stuck it's not even offering the move the only other option is to try and flat tow it out in the yard in first gear or park it on a hill. I'll tie it to another vehicle so it can't roll away. But like gravity keep constant pressure on the pistons and the rings. a whole week it's not looking very good for our motor here got all the spark plugs out got the thing in first gear just 
tied to the car behind it. And I have my Jeep hooked up to the front of it, pulling weight on it. And the motor still hasn't spun over. On the camera too oh no but hey that broke free that's okay a little bit of a mess all right let's get this old battery out of here Okay, we have all the spark plugs back in. We have the MotoVac machine hooked up. We're now pumping fresh fuel through the fuel system and we're gonna see a full fire. needs a little more help.
So all the injectors are stuck closed. Three weeks later. So we're back here on the Camaro and after uh, again a look inside the motor and talking to the customer, it's been decided that a uh, rebuilt engine is best for this. Unfortunately, it just sat too long. Look at the surface rust. Clearly no oil was getting up to the uh, cylinder heads. I cranked it over for at least five to 10 minutes with no spark plugs in it, trying to get oil pumping. And uh, you can see it's clearly dry. Like the rust is insane. I can't believe the amount of rust in there. So it's been decided we're gonna pull the motor we got a uh, rebuilt one just came in. This is uh, a couple weeks after the last uh, clip you just saw. So we're gonna work on getting that out and swapping the new motor in. Then we gotta do fuel system, tires, brakes, all that fun stuff. And uh, the car should be good to go.